Tropicals vlogs are back. Let's go. Today's video, we're going to be taking pendulums, Draco Slayers, and we're going to destroy these Tielemin idiots. I'm going to a brand new locals today. It's an hour and 15 minutes from my house. I know I haven't posted a video in a long time. I know this. So this video is dedicated to all you guys, all my homies. I love you guys. Daily videos are back and you can hold me to it. The next time I don't post seven videos in seven days, I am going to give out seven play mats to seven subscribers. We are five minutes away. There's a park out here called Gage Park and it's a very awesome park. We're gonna go to the park a little later. It's always so lit at nighttime. So we're gonna go there at the end of locals. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. Two years ago, I would say, I was facing the dilemma that either I stay as my job as a car salesman or I leave and do YouTube full time. And this is the exact place where I was uh, in this exact town. We're dressing business casual today because we're about to show these casuals the business. Let's go. Yo, are you playing in the tournament today? Yeah. Are you gonna win? Probably not. Probably not? <laughs> well, what deck are you playing? Why aren't you confident, bro? I believe you could win. What deck are you playing? Marincess. Marincess, okay, that's why. What deck are you playing? Telemann Bistio. Telemann Bistio, do you think you're gonna win? No. No? Do you think he could beat you in a duel? I beat him before. <laughs> I battle you in a handsome match. I'm gonna go get a fade, and then we'll have a battle. My arch nemesis, Arnie. I know. Lucky we didn't play each other. Yeah, don't be too easy, anyways. I'll let you win that one. I'll let what, you a, win. what a nice gentleman! Thank you, bro. Yeah. Thank you so much. Your real name's Arno. Arno. Wow, what a what a classy gentleman. Guys, I can't really show this behind the scenes, but they're both making fun of me right now. What they both just called me is like, Stephen, you have a stupid, ugly beard. You're never gonna win this tournament. <laughs> Go back to where you came from, Stephen. You have ugly shoes. Like, they're so rude. Do you have anything to say for yourself, you bully? Yeah. Like what? You need a nicer beard. <laughs> <laughs> the insults keep coming. So now I'm going to have to stop the bullies in my own way to defeat them with my with my pendulum deck. I'll show them. Here's what we're going to do. Everyone watching right now is going to go on TriffGaming.com and buy a playmat. And once every single person watching buys a playmat, I'm going to buy one of each of these uh, figures. Excuse me, what are these called? these miniatures and i'm gonna fill my room with a bunch of miniatures if you guys live in an area where you don't go to locals or locals is far away i do highly advise just go guys there's nothing to be scared about locals are awesome you just get eight new victims every single time to clap up uh so it's really fun i highly recommend it for all you guys don't be scared of going to locals new locals it's a great time this is my first time here at this locals in my life and nothing but great vibes from everybody it's an hour and 15 minutes away from my house, but I came anyways. Outside, beautiful. There's a legendary park out there. I look forward to going afterwards. And the, the idea behind the deck here is to bluster pendulum and Ignis and get the Ignis. Ignis will trigger specialing the card out. So no special maiden turning the maiden into a tuner. So when maiden turns into a tuner, it's officially a level four tuner and you get its effect to add Scott Iris or Necro Valley. That's when you summon your Bishiel and you make your Baron. No one expects that play coming and you just absolutely clap your opponent. So we're main decking 12 hand traps and we're siding in, or we're main decking 11 hand traps, they're all for bestials, and then we're siding into nine more. So it's 20 hand traps against bestials. Uh, so yeah, good luck playing to bestials, then you clap them up. And going first, we end on a combo that searches this. We search this with Beyond the Pendulum, searching this, as well as this in scale with Sloth, uh, this versus Flunder. And the main idea of this deck is to end on a combination of your 11 bestials, a branded beast. Uh, your Dweller or Baguska, whatever, claps them up more, a Seal and a Harbinger. And it's very important for the Seal in this deck because Seal's vital in this deck and it's a Dragon deck that ends on none other than everyone's favorite card right here, protected by Hope Harbinger in scenarios or by Dynaster, which does not allow them to destroy this. That's the lock and let's win. Let's go. In our deck, we're playing two Beyond the Pendulum and two Seals. The reason why the whole deck is based on this. It's a control deck. I'm main decking a lot of hand traps and side decking even more. There's nine hand traps in here that I add, both side. So it is a control based deck. You don't want to run out of these, this is your entire deck. And then you run a combo with this that ends on seal, which I'll show you guys in then while we do in the video. And something that no one expects is Boral and Dragon. So when Telemann players end, end on their little baby board, uh, when you get rid of their shufflers or dweller them, you literally just end on Boral and clear their entire board easily and you still have a dweller to destroy them. So they have no field and they're gonna, their life points are so low that you kill them next turn. It is extremely dragon based. Those are, we're not playing Selene Axis code. 
we're playing double ignister because this will ensure that you're ending on a free harbinger no matter what be careful of super poly for the seal and the hope harbinger if you're scared of super poly and tournament matchups don't end on seal harbinger you end on the double amorphic combo with uh, leckery in the scales and you can't activate spells anyway so harbinger is useless at that scenario but harbinger and sloth is an auto win so be aware of that dweller auto win but guska auto win got the zeus for that and one dinosaur one baron oh right, guys it's like christmas tournament's about to start who do i play Sharuka boss hello hello are you ready to lose Ready to win. Ready to win. We will see who will be the victor. Solid match over there. It ended up almost being dragon versus dragon. That, that was that was great. I thought he was playing Taylor the whole time. D shifter put in work. The goal is not put up who puts up more in the gates. The goal is to win the duel. So do it methodic methodically, and uh, you guys will be victorious. Uh, bro, great match, and uh, I'm gonna win the tournament for you now. All right, sounds good. In your honor. In your honor. It. My friend, are you ready to lose? Of course, of course. <laughs> okay, let's go. Finally, locals are back! Oh yeah! I'm excited! Luster pop the Ignis! Yo, I love pendulums. I love Yu-Gi-Oh, man. I miss going to locals. And I'm bringing back the locals vlogs every day. Let's go. This is too good, baby. This is just too good. We start off with Ignister here going to Beyond the Pendulum. Oh my goodness. Like, oh my goodness. Beyond the Pendulum cannot be negated by any effect, veil, or impermanence while you play on the fucking absolutely beautiful Draco Slayer playmat they were doing. Now, I do this cool pisty triple burst play ending on seal, and this is gonna, I'm doing a sad, sad board here on purpose because the board, like, the necro, this is gonna be an auto win here. I don't wanna put too much board if I wanna save my follow-up because there's a cool lock of Necro Valley. Necro Valley means that he cannot use any bestials. Seal means that we're gonna bring out our sloth. I literally seal my own card. I'm putting out a sloth right away. And a dinosaur makes it so he cannot kill my sloth. And the only way to kill this lock is with bestials, but Necro Valley stops the bestials. So it's a cool little lock. Like I was thinking, why? Like he cannot beat it. And I, the only other way to do it is if you find a way to out the Necro Valley with Tillum and Heartbeat. And then we even have an answer to that because we have Majesty Maiden in hand. The only way to out that combo is by Druid Worming and getting rid of the Dynaster and then entering Battle on Sloth. But because we have Majesty in hand, we're going to pitch as cost from our hand. It makes our Dynaster unaffected by everything, which means our Sloth is always protected. It's a cool lock there, and that's how we're catching everyone and going undefeated. Also, because we're playing on the most sexy Draco Slayer playmate of all time versus Tier Limit. Y'all see that? This is Draco Slayers destroying Sprite, destroying, destroying Tier Limit. This is a most beautiful playmate of all time. Uh, clapping up this garbage tier limit. Uh, I hate tier limit, bro. I hate tier limit. I really do. I loved it before when we could play the greatest card of all time, Vice Star Frost, but now it's just whatever. Here, my opponent uh, is gonna get really hurt by the Magnemuts. He's using some of his mills. There's not much he could do. Like, we are playing Pendulum. This is gonna be too easy. If you guys wanna see a full duel with commentary uh, not sped up at all, let me know. Uh, we'd like to see what you guys prefer more. Whether it'll be two or three duels sped up like this fast, you could see more duels than just one. Or if you prefer to just see one duel that is not sped up whatsoever and you could see slowly for the new players. Uh, I would like to do more duels like that, at least on Patreon, where I'm going to be showing a lot of long duels uh, not sped up. So you guys could really learn how to play my decks that I play. And this is going to be an easy slap here because Pen is the best deck. We're going to go Dweller. I'm going to set up a Pisty Triple Burst Boroland play. I'm going to end up with Boroland, and Boroland is just going to attack everything, and I'm going to go for game. This is why Boroland is so insane. You, the second you dwell with them, Boroland clears the whole board and attacks like 4k damage, and then you just kill them. So, GG. On to the next, baby! It was a great match there. Uh, our opponent did break up it in the last game, uh, but it's good to beat Tillman because we build the deck entirely to destroy Tillman. So, if you see while it's working, like, you know, you're playing like literally like 15 ways to stop grave effects, you're playing a bunch of ways to stop kit, you're playing 21 hand traps in total that specifically defeat that deck. Uh, like, if your vision is working, if your game plan is working, good. But if you continuously lose like five or six in a row when you build your deck to beat Tillman, clearly something is wrong. For now, it's 2 0. I don't think there's any Glue Eater Funder players here at the moment, so that's good. Uh, but they're, yeah, because Arnie's the biggest bleeder from all. Let's go. I'm gonna cheer on my boy here. I hope you destroy Arnie. Okay? <laughs> okay. Now, Arnie's my man, too. I hope, I hope Arnie wins. Arnie's my man's. We're playing two of it. Get him a face, Arnie. <laughs> oh my god, guys, I just found the most exciting match ever, so we're gonna watch the end of this. Just kidding, it's a tail of I'm out of there. This locals are really cool. I do like the energy of this locals. Uh, it's also a new town, so I'm gonna go find some place to eat food. 
because I'm hungry. Uh, so let's go find what we can get. I'm going to take you guys on an adventure. I'm going to bring my deck just in case I find any Yu-Gi-Oh players at the at the restaurants. Should I bring my Triv Gaming Draco Slayer playmat for protection just in case if some intruder tries to steal my deck box? I'll do that just in case. It's like a championship belt. Because the people out there in public see me walk around with uh, my Draco Slayer playmat that you can now buy on TrivGaming.com. I'll be well protected from uh, Bluster Pendulum. So let's go, guys. I'm going to take you guys on an adventure. It is definitely very cold, but it's all good. Hey, do you guys live around here? Any cool food places around here? Meeting people at Yuga tournaments hard work. So now we got to get sustenance for the system. Uh, see a cool pizza place over here. So we're going to get a pepperoni pizza. I'm a simple guy. I see pepperoni pizza, I order it. Yo, I ain't no food critic or anything, but this pizza is fucking delicious right here. Pizza Nini in Brampton, Toronto. Amazing. Fucking amazing. I love it. I didn't finish the rest of this. I'm just going to go in case uh, it's too late. I don't want to, like, miss my round. And then, guys, I got an adventure for you guys after this. So two of my best friends are coming from Toronto. They're coming an hour away just so we could party. So we're going to go roam the streets of Brampton after. And check, like, downtown. Brampton as a whole, by the way, is fucking garbage. It's ass. I say this in front of the Brampton City Hall. However, it's ass. However, the downtown of Brampton is fucking beautiful. It's amazing. So over here, you guys see all those lights out there? It's a whole park. So we're going to go to that park and just have a sick time. We're going to roam the streets. It's going to be so sick. So for now, I'm going to finish my pizza inside uh, my tournament area. Oh, shit. There's a library here. I don't read, but it's still nice that there's one. All right. So I'll see you guys inside. Let's go. The fact that it's Dweller Turbo, baby. You just Dweller against Taylor and destroy them. I know a triple burst, that a Pisty and triple burst going into a uh, Boral end at the end for the OTK, it's huge. It's it's seriously unbeatable. This deck is insane. Yo. After I finish this pizza, I'm gonna go back to that restaurant. Karen style, I'm gonna pretend to be a Karen. I'm gonna be like, I need to speak to the manager. And I pretend to be super upset. I'm just gonna tell him, I'm gonna give the guy a hug. I'm like, yo, this is the greatest fucking pizza I ever had in my life. Holy, sh this is insane. This is actually next level. How can a simple fucking pepperoni pizza with barbecue sauce taste so fucking good? This is actually insanely good. Arnie's the best. You're the, how can you hate Arnie? Like we started out as arch nemesis, but how could you? How could you not just love him? I don't know, what can I say? The best guy ever. Best guy ever. You're no longer my arch nemesis. We're now friends. Now I need a new arch nemesis. Did anyone to be Steven's arch nemesis? You undefeated? I'm bad. You're fresh feed and you're not undefeated? I'm bad at this game. I'm Are you giving fresh feed? I'm just here for looks. Yeah. He, he is handsome, so he's, he's not wrong. I battle you in a handsome match. I'm gonna go get a fade and then we'll have a battle. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. Alright, okay. right, guys, undefeated still. One more round to go. Yeah, I'm gonna win that one. Now let's go to the finals. Uh huh. We win this, we win the locals. And guess what? We're playing another tier limit deck. <laughs> Let me tell you guys a cool way to kill tier limit. It's a very cool card. Not many people like it, but guess what? It works beautifully in Pendulum. It's got Dimension Shifter Pass. Baby, that's all you need to do. D Shifter Pass. I Magnum up to set up my follow-up of Revolution Dragon. My hand at the moment is Revolution Dragon Maiden. Like, he's going to get absolutely destroyed no matter what his end board is. So now my opponent, he's a good player. There's nothing he can do. Like, there's just nothing my opponent can do here. He crashes, he sets one, passes. I'm going to go straight into Chaos Emperor. Gets hit with a heartbeat. He's going to go trigger his Havness. This doesn't matter to me. Like... Any board he puts up is no problemo for the Pengato. It's no problem. Luster, Ignis. Like, the whole point of D-Shifter is if you use it right away, you don't need to play. But if you know for a fact you're playing Tier Limit, let D-Shifter uh, turn skip them. And then you just OTK them the following turn. Uh, we have a lot of scenarios under D-Shifter. We can end on CL Baguska. Uh, this was not one of those hands that I had. I knew I was content with just going Shifter Pass. And now in this scenario where he has no interruptions, there's just nothing he can do whatsoever i pendulum a bunch i add luster pen to my hand uh, this is just game i dweller just in case he has anything uh ignister oh, this is too easy man this is a pen best deck pen best deck really is he's gonna get rid of my uh my lubellion uh but there's just not much he could do like he, there's nothing that my opponent can do like it's just pendulum is just the best deck bro there's just nothing he can do we have a great matchup versus tier limit i'm trying to tell you guys this deck auto destroys tier limit we have borland over there for another otk with borland like borland insane Tier Limit always ends on a big-ass board of a bunch of monsters on their 3k attack. I know Scream will boost everything by 500, doesn't matter. When you go into Ignister, you shuffle back to Scream, and you go Borland to destroy the whole field. And then you that's alone, Borland's going to be 4k damage while clearing all his monsters. 
and because the destroyed by bottle is good and destroys everything. Like Ash is Keldo because I don't want him to get more and more and more plus. I don't want him to waste his normal summon. And I know I also have four other hand traps on my hand. I have a hand trap full hand here. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, he goes into Tillerman Scream here. He's gonna go up to mill 11. Uh, I do the, I have Ghost Spell and Magnum, so I'm just waiting for the opportune time. And I do it right then. I stop, all his three fusions are now done for the turn. All three fusions he has is finished. He does has no longer fusions for this turn. So he's gonna go into Elf here. He's gonna set up. He, I have Necro Valley in my hand. My goal with this one is, so he's gonna have Merle in the field, as well as another Merle with a set uh, crime. So my goal is very simple. I'm trying to get him to bait all his cards to, so I could activate Necro Valley and pass my turn. Uh, by doing that, he's he's totally cooked. I'll clear his board and, and a Necro Valley. So that's my goal here to 2-0. All I gotta do though, is I gotta bait the trap card. So I'm trying to bait him right now with Lobelion. I'm trying to bait him big time. That's the only goal here, just bait that. Because once my crime resolve is over, he has an incredible mill, uh, mill six here. This is like a remarkable mill. Uh, he opts to only use one of his effects, so at that point I'm gonna Magnum at that. I'm trying to bait his trap card really badly. I really need him to use it. Like the second the trap is over, this duel's over. I just activate Necro Valley. If I activate Necro Valley now, that's just getting negated into oblivion. So we got it. This is how you gotta be really smart. Yeah, and again, Necro Valley is searchable in this deck. I did hard draw it, but the idea of this deck against this mirror, not against this mirror, against the Tillerman deck is. You use all your cards to bait him, and then you use Special Summon Maiden to search Necro Valley, and you just literally activate Necro Valley and win the game. Uh, the deck cannot deal with Necro Valley whatsoever. Uh, so that is the game plan here. I have a stacked graveyard thanks to my opponent. Uh, I'm just thinking, how can I bait this? How can I bait this? I have Double Magnum 1. I search Chaos of uh, Emperor. I have these three in the field. I'm going to enter Battle Face to clear two of his monsters. Uh, my card does lose 500 attack, sadly, but that's fine. And I activate Necrovali, there's nothing I can do. I tried to bait him. I was thinking about going to Beyond the Pendulum, but then he'll get rid of that, and then I just can't do much. So I activate Necrovali at that point. I'm like, yeah, I just, fuck, I can't win. Even if I go and unseal, uh, I want to go seal Necrovali, and I knew that would have sealed the deal. But we are going to go on to game number three now. Time is a factor. I didn't want to scoop. I think I could have played out of this one, but time is a factor. I'm not playing Cowboy in my deck. I'm not playing any of that nonsense. So time affects Draco Slayers a lot more than other, other decks. Like, so I needed to go super speed. So I just gave up pretty early there. I hate giving up. Uh, I know I could have win this game, but it's also, it was a business decision. So now I'm going to go first. I'm going to set up a massive board. My opponent is, uh, Mills Havness. Uh, sorry, activates Havness. Mills gets a Mill 5. Gets a pretty big board up, but I saw in here, get rid of his tier limit. Uh, I'm going to do a slow play here. I, I bricked. I have Solemn Judgment, Gilding, or Yone, and Sloth in my hand at the moment. But I recognize that there's no way he has an answer to Sloth. If I have Bestials plus Brand and Beast and Druid Worm. So I Tribute Summit and a Solemn Judgment. So I Tribute Summit my Sloth. I set my Solemn Judgment. We have five minutes left in time. So I scale my Ariane so I don't lose 4,000 life points. The second he tries to... He can't use any effects in Grave because of Sloth. And the second he activates a spell to get rid of Sloth. I could Brand and Beast the Pearl Arena, which I do exactly that. And I have Solemn Judgment just in case. So uh, we're in a perfect scenario right now. Druid Worm in my hand. There's not much he could do here. Even though I bricked, this is still plenty enough. Sloth is insanely powerful when it's protected by other cards. So uh, there's just nothing you can do. I'm just going to do some damage here uh, because time is a factor. So I'm going to put it. He's like four minutes left at this point. He goes Perlerino. I brand and beast the Perlerino. Uh, there's nothing he can do. There's really nothing he can do. This duel's over. Uh, pen best deck. Like there's just pen best deck. Sloth best deck. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, guys, I, the laser eye surgery I got didn't work. Do you guys watching this video, do you mind? Who finished first? Who the who's Steven J. Trifanoski? He must be the best ego player in the world. I told you guys we're gonna win. How's that feel? Hey, I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm the best player in the game. I told you I was gonna win. Yo, bro. Yo, what's your name, bro? I won for you. There you go. For your honor. Thank you. No problem. All right, guys. Now that we were victorious, I'm gonna go do a champions do and get sauce at the bar. So I'm gonna head out. Yo guys, thank you for the hospitality. I'm gonna come next week and hopefully be 2-0. I love you, yo, bro. That was so fun. Pen best deck. I told you guys, undefeated. Everyone thinks Kashtira is the new best deck. Yeah, go rewatch this entire video because Pendulum is gonna obliterate every Kashtira duelist in the planet. These Kashtira players, they don't know what's gonna happen, bro. They're gonna get 5 0 by every Pendulum player in the planet. Oh, you think you can lock my zone? No, oh, man. These Kashtira duelists think you can lock my zone. Activate Book of Eclipse. Get out of my face. After further evaluation of the situation, it is cold as fuck. So we've decided to go to Korean barbecue instead. 
So we ended up not going skating because I can't fucking skate and it's cold as shit. Say hi to the boys, that's Taz, that's Sean, and my two best friends. And we're gonna out here, we're eating some Korean barbecue. Yo, how good is this? It's too good. It's actually it's too good. good. It's Yo, insane. if you guys live in Toronto, you have to come here. It's actually the best Korean barbecue. You see these gates? You'll get it, trust me. <laughs> they put something special that just makes your biceps huge. It, it's just part of the rules. Absolutely amazing, this food's remarkable. After this, Yo, boys, what are we doing after this? We're hard. Uh, we're cigars, we're drinking, we're drinking lots of cigars. Cigars, drinking, uploading all this content from my editor, blasting music. Are we playing Yu Gi Oh? Nah, fuck Yu Gi Oh. Fuck Yu Gi Oh. Okay, so after that, is Option 6 the bar? That's a vibe. Is Option 6 the bar? All right, if you guys will go to the bar in this scenario as option as the sixth thing, not option six, comment below. And now for our desserts. Wait. Your dessert. <laughs> Just my dessert. <laughs> cheers. 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 The pendulums. Thank you guys for watching the video. It was an absolute pleasure to actually go back to locals, play pendulums for the first time in like two months, and I look forward to daily videos like this. So if you guys love what you see, love the video style, make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Have an absolutely amazing day. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.